Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned standoff. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm actually, uh, I'm actually gonna back away from the ZF. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we've basically been trying to run this deck down for a couple days now, guys. And we finally came through, uh, just a few hours ago and got the button, uh, when all the lamps were on. And then we ran through the dungeon. Uh, however... Only issue with that was, when I made my way through the dungeon, yeah, we explored a little bit, and we tried to find out where the compass went. When I tossed the compass on the ground, the box glitched out into a block or something, and it was not found. So, we've actually gotten a second key from Tango after I uh, told him that, yeah, things didn't work. So, we got a dungeon key. Uh, so, let's see, we got compass 36 here. So, let's go ahead and we're going to do a little bit of a run of Decked Out. We're hoping to get some items from the witch set. So, yeah, hopefully that uh, is what we can find in this dungeon area. And I want to stay in this time a little bit longer than we have in other times. Uh, mostly because we have resistance now, so we can take a couple hits from the Ravager in theory. Um, but still not too many, of course. So, we're going to make our way inside here. Going to make our way in here. Get out our decked out set. And take out our coins. We're going to put all this stuff away after setting our spawn. Which apparently is already set there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, respawn point set. Let's go ahead and dump off this stuff. And let's go ahead and run the dungeon. Okay, so everything is set. We have resistance one, beast sense one, another resistance one, and loot finder one. So hopefully this will serve us well inside the dungeon. So let's back away in here. There we go. And we'll put down our deck right there. Hit the button. Dungeon is now active. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in. Hopefully there's not a Ravager right in the middle here. Okay, it seems like we gotta go this way. The direction the compass is leading. Hopefully we don't... I'm gonna try and go a little slow here. Just walking in. Looks like it's in the front portion of this, perhaps. Okay, there's like a study here. Man, this is pretty... This is an expansive dungeon, I gotta say. Okay, that sounded like a good sound there. There's Tango sitting on a throne. That's awesome. Looks like we go this way, perhaps. Bedroom area. Ooh, diamond blocks. Scars in a vault somewhere. 12 bamboo. Congrats on your free glass. <laughs> nice, nice. 12, the old 12 bamboo trick. Okay, looks like somewhere right here. Yep. Right here seems like where it's at. All right, we got it. We got it. Loot box 36. Oh, there's a soul flame. Let's punch it. There we go. Punched out. Very good. That's the first one of those I've seen. All right, let's... Okay, that's clank generating. Gotta be a little careful here. I do want to go a little further into the dungeon, but I don't want to push it too far. See a couple barrels in here. I can hear my heart beating. It's very nerve-wracking being in here, because you don't know what's going to be around the corner. Although we do have beast sense, so maybe that's not the case. I don't know, I feel... Oh, there's two Ravagers in there. Oh, and one of them saw me. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, I don't want to generate too much clank. Okay. I want to try and get back into the dungeon a little bit more. Tell you what, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go deep into the dungeon. I feel like this might be a bad idea, but we do have resistance, right? Oh no, nope, maybe not that way. Maybe not that way. That looks like a very poor choice of ways to go. Okay, I think we I think we lost him. Oh, I know we didn't lose him. We didn't lose him. He's still there. He's still there. Let, let's just get out with this loot, right? Let's just get out with this loot. Oh, this is a dead end. This is a dead end. Please no. Oh, there are beasts right there too. Oh boy. 
Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Please keep going. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I'm kind of trapped here a little bit. Okay, where's my beast sense at? Oh, man, there's a ravager blocking the whole way. Okay, can I... Alright, this is definitely a dead end. We do not want to be caught here. Oh, man. The, the clank is generating. I think there's a beast. Yep, there's a beast right down there. Okay. Gotta go around him. Can't go that way. Oh, man. This is bad. This is very, very bad, guys. Okay, the beast looks like he's moved from this area. Okay, let's go... Let's go through here. Okay. I don't want to stay in here too much longer. I feel like I've already been in here for too long. To be honest. Ooh, what's this? Is this a secret area? Oh, it is! Decked out coin! Nice! Hey, hey! I'll take it. Seriously, though, we gotta get out. We gotta move. Dragon head. Look at all these walls that are up, dude. Ravager can see us from so far away now. Oh, okay. Beast sense? Okay. There's a beast near the entrance, dude. Just camp in the entrance. What is this about, yo? Oh, evoker! Evoker! Another evoker. I gotta run. I gotta run. Oh, baby. Alright. I gotta risk this thing, I think. Is this thing working? Oh, it's not working. It's not working. I can't risk that way. Oh, I, got, I gotta keep moving. I gotta keep moving away from these guys. Gotta keep moving away from these guys. There we go. Okay, yes. That's good. Heartbeat is pounding. Oh, okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta power through. We gotta power through. This is the same way. Oh, I, I don't think I can make it out here, guys. Uh, dang it, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely lost. I'm definitely lost. Got a lot of good stuff, but uh, man, I need to be able to make it out somehow. And I can't get past this beast here. I think that's my way out. I think I gotta, I gotta, <gasps> I gotta jump over the other. The other way, no, please, Vex, please, Vex, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, Vex, please, no. Okay, okay, can I make this jump? Oh, no, 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 oh no, no, please, Vex, please, please. Ah, uh, rip. <laughs> Dang it, uh, I got trapped there, man. Well, it was a good run. Unfortunately, though. We got trapped. We got trapped. Yikes. Dang it. <laughs> That's really hard with the beast blocking that entrance. I think I had to... I should have tried to go for the, the lava jump. I should have tried to bounce off those trap doors. I guess after a certain amount of time that stops working, so... That's cool, but, uh, yeah. Let's get our deck back. We do get a card, I believe. Stealth one. Resistance one. Or... Beast Sense one. I'm thinking Stealth one. Because I don't think I have that one yet. There we go. Yeah, Stealth one. Very good. Okay. Let's get our box back. We unfortunately leave this time empty-handed. You know what I forgot to do that I'm just now realizing? I forgot to take off my armor. In the dungeon. So, uh... <laughs> well... Uh, we lost, uh, we lost all of our netherite gear, apparently. Yep. I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened. Well, next time, remember to take off your armor. <laughs> Dang it. So, guys, I guess this episode is now a get back our netherite armor episode. Uh, so let's see if we have any diamonds that could help us in the shops. Uh, here, looks like we have none in here. Yep, none in there. Let's check the Cinnabon shop. Luckily, we have a Cinnabon shop, so we can easily get netherite gear back. Uh, so... Hey, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at those blocks of diamonds. Nice and shiny and everything. Very nice. Very nice. Fantastic. Okay, so, um, let's see. We're gonna need 
two netherite ingots. Uh, so we're gonna need eight cinnabons. So we'll just mine these from here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And then we just hit the button. These all move forward. Very nice. And we'll just smelt up these eight cinnabons in here. Put a few more sticks in there as well. Very nice. I like it. I like it. So yeah, this is one of the many features that the Cinnabon shop offers. Freshly baked Cinnabons inside our blast furnaces. Actually, these are more like fre they're more like uh, flatbread Cinnabons, I would say, in this state. So yeah, we'll smelt this up and then we'll convert some of these diamonds into both boots and pants. And then we're going to have to stop by looky looky at my bookie to re-enchant these things with max level enchants. So... Yeah, give me a sec here. I'll be right back. Okay, unfortunately, we also lost our Lytra in that decked out <laughs> fiasco where I forgot my armor. I'm just going to be honest. Like, there's rules that say you can't wear armor and there's signs. And still, I missed it. It's early in the morning, but still, that was pretty dumb. But uh, there we go. We'll put on our reserve wings, uh, which we have just in case something like this happens, which it inevitably does quite often, actually. Uh, and let's go over to looky looky at my bookie. The most useful shop on the server, I would say, for scenarios such as this. Uh, so let's just buy the stuff we need here. By the way, does anybody else find this a little strange? Check this out. If I put Unbreaking 3 and Mending in the Anvil, it comes out with Enchantment Cost 2. But if I switch the order, Mending and then Unbreaking, it costs an extra level for the exact same book. Very weird. Very weird. But, uh... Yeah, we'll just combine these here, and then we're going to make the Pharaoh's Leggings. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll put the Unbreaking on there, and we should be good, I think. Yeah. And finally, we have Pharaoh's Boots. There we go. Should be max level. Feather Falling, Depth Strider, Protection, Unbreaking, Mending, and Soul Speed. Very, very nice. Okay, so, now we just gotta convert these two to Netherite, which should be easy since we have two Netherite ingots, and should be good to go. Should be good to go. So guys, we got our Netherite gear back, and I decided it was time to vibe in the Enforcer's office, so went up there, and while I was sitting there, something interesting happened. What the world? What was that? False. Hello? Hello. Hi, is this the right place? You're the uh, enforcement, right? Oh, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I did not expect a visitor here at Vibe Time. Uh, it's a good time here all the time at Vibe Time. Go ahead and take a seat. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Cool. Yep, uh, take a seat uh, if you if you could. Uh, yeah, take okay. a seat. Okay, yep. Take a seat. Uh, yeah. Can you can you please I'm, take a I'm, seat? Okay. Take. I mean, can, I'm trying... I'm trying. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. What, what What are you uh, What are you here for? What are you here for? False. What's uh, What's up? Well, um, I lost some some stuff, I guess, in the shopping district, and wondered if you knew where it was. Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. Do you have like a like a description of what it was, or? It was about nine or ten purple sugar boxes. I think they were. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, let me let me let me go check. Uh. I'll, just give me give me a minute here. Okay. I'll be I'll be right back. Don't worry oh. about anything. Okay. Everything will be fine. Uh. Yeah. Feel free to explore around the office a little bit. There's a nice comfy bed there. You can maybe sleep in and stuff. Uh. Just keep yourself entertained. You know. Uh. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Thank you. Give me just one second here. There's a lot of a lot of things that have been seized recently. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Let me just see. Do you have any idea what might have been in there or anything, or...? Um, just a whole bunch of road supplies, I guess. Some, like, black stones, some mushroom blocks, you know, that stuff. Okay, so just, like, some basic stuff. Like, okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. I think I may have found it. Yeah, yeah, this looks like it. Yeah, it's a good thing you came here, because, you know, there's there's an auction that's coming up very soon. Um, definitely has not oh, yet started, oh yeah? uh, 
Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think this is it. I'm pretty sure. Just take a look and see if this this fits the description of what you might have lost here. Okay, sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, there's quite uh, a number of things. Stem, crimson. Yeah. I mean, it look it looks to be my stuff. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think we found this outside of your shop, and uh, yeah. It was just sort of, just sort of sitting there, so you know we we had to pick it up. You know, it's not no big deal. You know. Uh huh. Well, well, thank you for picking it up. I'm glad it wasn't actually stolen. I thought um someone had claimed it for themselves. So, thank you uh, for getting it back. Oh yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. I hope uh I hope that is uh all the stuff there you got. And uh yeah, have a have a good rest of your day. Great. Uh, thank you. Didn't realize the enforcement would be that good. So uh, thanks for your help. Cheers. Cheers, false. Oh man, that was close. Whew. You know, I'm gonna be honest here, guys. I feel like the enforcer and me wanted to tell False there to just come down and place a bid on her stuff, you know, and she could get it back in two weeks. But, you know, she's within 24 hours of the start of the auction, so yeah, I think that's part of like the grace period. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy we got her stuff back, and yeah, I'm glad she took her time the time out of her day to come and see us because uh, it's always great to see False. It's always great to see False. Uh, in the meantime, though, we need another item up here for auction. So what we're going to do, we're going to place down right here some flower pots, and we're going to auction off 12 bamboo. Now, this is not just any 12 bamboo. This is the 12 bamboo, right? So we're going to put this book down. You see, I've already took the liberty of bidding one diamond for this 12 bamboo. Uh, and we're going to put a sign here that says, uh, not there. Whoops. Uh, whoa, what happened there? What sort of devil music is this? What's going on? So after re-logging, the sign came back, but no worries. We got it now. So we'll say auction number two, the original 12 bamboo. This is a priceless, priceless thing. I'm going to capitalize the B. And there we go. Auction number two back up. Bid's now being accepted. And I think with that, I think pretty much, you know, it's now been a, a, almost a full day for the uh, for the bids to come in. So I feel like I feel like this is now the final auction set. So, yeah, hopefully we'll get some other hermits coming in, bidding on some things very soon. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave this area and go do something else. So guys, I think what I'd like to do today is I would like to basically finish up our game in Tarjay 25s. If I fly on down around here like so. Yep, we come to 25s right here. So this is 25s, the game where you shoot 25 targets in 25 seconds, 25 times. So that's basically the entire game right there. Uh, but yeah, we need to decorate this game. This side's already done. This is the fire-themed side of... 25s and we're going to have an ice theme side over here which we will have done by the end of today's episode um, but uh, unfortunately this game requires some expensive block or doesn't actually require it I just like them for whatever reason um, but we need some more netherite blocks uh, which are quite expensive um, we could use basalt but I prefer netherite just because it's fancier and also it actually looks better I think objectively looks better with these chains attached to the side. So, we have five netherite blocks already here. We need three more for the other three corners. So, that means we need 81 uh, ancient debris, and we gotta smelt all that up and turn it into netherite blocks. <laughs> so, we're going out mining 81 ancient debris for three netherite blocks. So, might as well go ahead and get that grind done. Might as well go ahead and do that now. So, let's head to the nether, mine ourselves some Cinnabons. First Cinnabon, right here. Very good. <laughs> you smell that, guys? That's the delicious scent of your local Cinnabons. Only one. Only one this time. But that's okay. Cinnabon... Thank you. Oh, did I pick it up? I did. Cool. 
couple hours of ancient debris mining later, and we ended up with 88 debris, I believe, if I'm doing my maths correctly. And so we're going to put this in the smelter right here, smelt it all up, and turn it all into netherite box. Okay, all of our ancient debris is done smelting. We got our scraps. We got these scraps in here, and let's make ourselves some netherite ingots. There we go, 22 of them. I don't have enough, do I? <laughs> no, I don't. We still need another five netherite ingots. Or, sorry, three netherite, no. Four netherite ingots. So we need another 20 plus debris. So, back to mining, I guess. And you know what? For the final 20 Cinnabons, might as well go ahead and take from the Cinnabon shop. After all, we own the place, so we can take as many Cinnabons as we want. Unlimited Cinnabons for us. And there's more where that came from. Very nice. And would you look at this? Look at this! The Cinnabon shop has started to run out itself. So, yeah. We actually have no Cinnabons in this uh, slot right here. So, we're going to have to go restock Cinnabons soon. Actually, let's go into the back and see how full this thing is. I'm guessing people probably take from the middle. So, it's probably a little bit lower in the middle. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, the middle is pretty much empty. <laughs> And then we have some Cinnabons on the side still, so... Yeah, we've actually sold a lot of Cinnabons, and yeah. That is uh, that is cool to see. That means a lot of diamonds. We've making a lot of diamonds at this shop. So, uh, anyways. We got the Cinnabons now. Let's go back and smelt these things up. Alright, flying on in. We got the Cinnabons now converted. And we got all three of the blocks we need. Here we are. Alright, so... One netherite. Two netherite. Three netherite. There we go. Alright, and now we need the soul lanterns on top. Do we have any? We might not have any in this area here, but hopefully we do. We do not. We do not. That's fine, though. We definitely do over here. Uh, I know for sure. Yep, right there. Soul lantern. Very nice. Let's fly on this way. And... One down there, one down there, one down there, and finally one down here. And also a husk is on the other side of this <laughs> pyramid wall. Anyways, with the netherite blocks now done, uh, the rest of this should be pretty easy. We got all the snow and the ice, so let's go ahead and build up the rest of this 25s minigame. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we got ourselves 25s completed. Here's what it's looking like. Uh, so you can see we got the ice and snow area completed right here. Uh, we also were able to hide the dispenser, uh, which shoots off fireworks from these corners here, uh, which basically indicates the game is over. Uh, so that's great. And yeah, we got the scoreboard all decorated. So we got the lights for the player 2 win condition right here, and the lights for the player one win condition right here encased in sort of blue ice. Um, and yeah, we got everything done in terms of like showing other hermits where this game is. So we got the lodestone right under here. Uh, that's pointing the way to 25s. Uh, we got the book all written. Of course, right here, I'll just quickly scroll through it. it tells you how to play uh, and how to win and some notes about the thing. Uh, and yeah, how to record your score. So uh, speaking of scores, uh, I should show you guys the back side, because the back side is looking mighty fine as well. And yeah, this is what the back side is. So we're going to be doing four individual time trials for 25s. 
We're going to have the best scores for Tridents, and we have a special Tarjay Trident right here with some uh, Loyalty 3 action on that. Uh, we have Snowballs, so best scores for Snowballs will be here. Best scores for the Bow will be here. And the best scores for the Crossbow will be right here. And, of course, we got arrows and stuff in here, and we got, you know, a Crossbow with uh, Quick Charge 3 enchantment on it. So that should work nicely. That should work nicely. Um, and so I think we're gonna we're gonna do a time trial here. Actually, I think we're gonna do a time trial for snowballs on this this uh, left side here. So let me just grab a little bit of snowball action. Going to move this over here. Shouldn't need too many. I'll probably need like four stacks or so. But I'm gonna try and set a good score here for other hermits to compete against, and we'll set scores uh, throughout the rest of the season here too. Uh, so let's just start this thing up. So here we go. Let's go. So we just got to basically spam as much as we can the snowballs as quickly as we can. There we go. Okay. And we should be almost there. Yep, there it is. Okay. It's over. And you can see our, light, our lamp lit up here. Since we weren't playing against anybody, we obviously won. So that's why that's there. And our score is 50. So there we go. So we will come to the back side here. Let's grab... Uh, let's see, what happened to our stuff here? Not sure what happened to our stuff. I think I'm glitching out a little bit, <laughs> to be honest. But, yeah. Let's just go ahead and punch this thing out. Or did I put it in here? Oh, I put it in here. Okay. Thought for some reason my stuff disappeared. Okay, so, score is Cub with... Uh, let's do Cub and then 50 underneath. 50 Nuggets. Well, it's, it's obvious it's going to be Nuggets, so we'll just put Cub, 50. There we go. Okay, so the other hermits can try and come and best that score of 50. See if they can do any better. See if they can get any faster time. I think you could probably go a little a little quicker than I did. That was probably not like the ideal time. We'll just have this reset. And then once that light comes back on, then it's ready to go again. So, yeah, that is it, guys. 25s is now open. I might try to get somebody over here and see if we can play 25s against them. Using like, like some bows, some crossbows, some tridents in the uh, the next episode. Will be fun to do like a round of four. Uh, one on each different type of item. That'd be kind of cool. So yeah, with that guys, that will be it for me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks very much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.